Fuck you, Lester. You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're going to make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done. You need to know something. So why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. Oh, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an iFind alert. That little college boy sack of shit, phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. Uh, I heard him say that he saved America. What, by but... outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white-collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag, and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's.
You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism. And brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days. <coughs> Please excuse me. I've got something shameful to do. As much as I love catching up,
Was there something else? I'd offer you something, but you were just leaving. Please excuse me. I've got something shameful to do. As much as I love catching up, Is there something else? I'd offer you something, but you were just leaving. Ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Huh? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Bye. Michael? I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? 
Why wouldn't they if you looked the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Hey. Hey. Uh, oh, great. Uh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke bricks bowed up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I, I T temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Ah, uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. I'm totally becoming a tech evangelist when the big boys vest. Maybe not even tech. I'll evangelize anything. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Really? The brief was for a relaxed, creative individual, the kind that preferred a beanbag over a real chair, but if you're so bound to social restraints... No, 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 I'm not restrained at all. I'll... I'll, I'll, I'll take a seat. Mm. See? Mm. You're relaxed already. Let the creative juices flow. Kaboom! You just got pwned, my friend. Upside down. That's not working. Show me your air guitar. <laughs> That's not even remotely whack. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. This is a filthy hard drive, bro. Uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups, see what I can do. Your son codes? Start them early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. After that, it's just a hack job. Wow. Your job is actually kind of stressful too, ain't it? Almost cracked it. Might I tempt you with some organic chow or a fair trade java? 
There it goes. Might be why I get all these migraines. Seriously, it, it might be why. And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. That's so cool. We got to get this bug fixed, dude. Look at this guy. We should be retiring him, not firing him. Dude, when it blue screens again, you're my guy. Bye now. This new guy must have been coding analog machines. Sit, 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 sit. Foot bang, dig fast. Ow! Come on, you're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Oh. How's your air guitar? Oh, um, all right, follow me. Okay. You seen this pick up a cat? They let him out of the cage again. <laughs> Someone else been on the NSFWs? You should be a meme, dude. Keep wandering around like this, and they'll think you got dementia. Send me the file. He's back. Hey, Michael, hold on, hold on. Don't! I don't ya! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry, the phone is rigged. Hey, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. 
Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life and a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Now, whatever you say, enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. Out. No! I'm watching Famer Shame! Not fucking tits! No! Get him! Something you've never seen before. We've got desperados performing. We've got has-beens judging them. We've got an anodyne metrosexual holding everything together. We are down to the top acts. It's the finals! Yeah! And here are our fame or shame judges. Let's introduce, you love him, I love him, ladies and gentlemen, Hugh Harrison! Woo! So, uh, who are you calling a has-been? Um, you, uh, save the venom for the axe. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. Hey, this company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Carraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase, full-on weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we're about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24-7. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked at home. And at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. We went to the guys at Fruit Computers and we told them we wanted to make our hardware as compatible as possible. But you know what? They're not interested in sharing their technology. So we went and made it compatible anyway. 
Now you can dock your Life Invader to an iFood phone or any other device. And it'll take all the... Oh, hold on a second. Fuck you. I think someone's trying to dock with me. Hello? Hello? Oh! Ah! Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 Let's... No, 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 no. Whoa! Lest, that was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look. Hey, I'm going, man, before you take advantage.
I'm another crack mother. What's going on now? JB, niggas gone AWOL, baby. I don't know what to do. Is he ever not AWOL? He's bad, Franklin. Got his claws in deep this time. They're on to him, leaving messages, saying he gonna get cut. You ain't gonna let a sister starve. Look, man, I'm not gonna let that happen, all right? Now leave it with me. Ten thirty three. This is dispatch. Ten thirty three. We got a car stalled on the train tracks at Chum Street, Elysian Island. Who's got ears? Over. Yo, yo, I can handle that. Ten four. Put the hammer down. I'm glad you showed up. Any chance you could take me to a mechanic so I can get that death trap fixed? That's a bad place to break down. Yeah, it started spluttering at the crossing. Then the engine just cut out. Damn car, foreign trash. I've told my wife a hundred times. But she's like, oh no, Phil, you can't say that. Not anymore. She'll soon change her tune when she finds out I nearly died. All this fancy eco crap they put in cars now. We never asked for it. We never signed that treaty. A mile less to the gallon, and maybe I wouldn't have ended up on top of the train tracks. I'm at a loss for words. Could have fooled me. Makes a nice change, though, to get towed for a good reason. Normally, I'd be cussing you out, you know, asking you how you sleep at night. I'm sure you would, man.
been in the business long? Uh, I ain't exactly in the business. Just helping out a friend, dog. What are you doing? Come back! back. Ten thirty-three. This is dispatch. Ten thirty-three. We got a car stalled on the train tracks at Chum Street, Elysian Island. Who's got ears? Over. Yo, yo, I can handle that. Ten four. Put the hammer down. Come on! Come on, start! Man, I almost soiled myself! Phew, thought I was a goner there for a second. Could you drop me out the nearest repair shop? That's a bad place to break down. Yeah, it started spluttering at the crossing. Then the engine just cut out. Damn car, foreign trash. I've told my wife a hundred times. But she's like, oh no, Phil, you can't say that. Not anymore. She'll soon change her tune when she finds out I nearly died. All this fancy eco crap they put in cars now. We never asked for it. We never signed that treaty. A mile less to the gallon, and maybe I wouldn't have ended up on top of the train tracks. I'm at a loss for words. Could've fooled me. Makes a nice change, though, to get towed for a good reason. Normally, I'd be cussing you out, you know, asking you how you sleep at night. I'm sure you would, man. You been in the business long? Uh, I ain't exactly in the business. Just helping out a friend, dawg. Yeah, yeah.
careful! If it ain't the finest man in South L.S. You can tell J.B. I did his work for him again. I will, boo. Soon as he wakes up. I need a drink. Word. Get this, man. Don't you open your damn hey, eyes. I'm homeless. <laughs> well, Lottie, don't push me. What I do for a line of blue? Yeah, you're right. 